So welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 Maths and in this video we'll be going over a quick topic test with a collection of some GCSE exam style questions on an introduction to trigonometry at foundation level. Now a copy of the questions for you to have an attempt at before watching through this video is available for you to download by clicking on the link in the description which I strongly recommend that you do to see how much understanding you have on this topic. Now before we get started working through these questions it's important to note that trigonometry can appear on both the non-calculator and the calculator paper. Now more often than not it's going to be on the calculator paper where you are using the trig ratios on your calculator. However some working out questions where they want you to basically show which formula to use or the components of the formula can appear on the non-calculator paper. And an example of that is question one. So question one says that the value of tan A for this triangle. So here, what we need to do first is establish which angle is in question, which is this one here, that's angle A. Now, when we are using tan, and you can either call it tan X or tan theta, the formula is opposite over the adjacent. Now, in this question, the opposite, if this is theta, then this is going to be our opposite and this is going to be our adjacent. So here, tan A is going to equal 2 over 3, which is our first option. For question 2, it says, what is the value of sine A for this triangle? So here we first of all highlight angle A. Now, when we're using sine, it's the opposite over the hypotenuse. So here, if this is theta, this is going to be the opposite and this is going to be the hypotenuse. So we're doing O over H, so that's going to be 5 over 13, which is our second option. Moving on to question 3, it says use your calculator to work out 25 cos 54. And if you type that into your calculator, you should have an answer of 14.6946313. Now we want to round this number up to one decimal place. So that for, therefore is going to be 14.7. It then says use your calculator to work this out. So again, what we need to do is just type that in. And if you type that into your calculator, you should end up with 24.00501794. And rounded that num this number up to the nearest whole number is going to be 24. It then says use your calculator to do the inverse tan of 18 over 35. I want to round around up to 1 dp. So again, typing that in correctly, you should end up with 27.216111156. And rounding that number up to one decimal place, you should get 27.2. Moving on to question four. So this says that the triangles ABC and PQR are similar. Now the word similar just basically means in a perfect enlargement. So imagine it's been stretched or gone through a photocopy where they've blown up the triangle in so that all dimensions have been enlarged by the same scale factor. Now the first question says write down the size of angle BAC. Now BAC is this angle here and to work that out all I need to remember is that angles in a triangle are up to 90 degrees so it's going to be 180 minus 30 minus 90 which gives us an angle of 60 degrees. Now, it's only worth one mark, so if you kind of did that in your head, as long as you write 60, that's fine. Moving on to question 4b, it says write down the size of angle PRQ. Now, PRQ is this angle here. Now, when you're in enlargements, the internal anterior angles stay the same. So if this angle here is 30, then this angle here is also going to be 30 degrees. It then says use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the length of BC. So BC is this length here, and we're going to work out what X is. So using Pythagoras, that's C. This is going to be B, and let's call this A. So it's going to be X squared plus 1 squared equals 2 squared. So X squared equals 2 squared minus 1 squared. So X squared equals 4 take away 1. So X squared equals 3. So X equals root 3. Now we don't need to worry about plus and minuses because obviously we can't have negative length. So that there is root 3. It then says work out the length of QR. So if we look at what QR is, so this is the length that we then need to work out. Now if we look at the scale factor, let's work that out. So here the hypotenuse of this triangle is 2 and the hypotenuse of the enlarged shape is 10. 
So I need to multiply that by 5. So if this length of BC is root 3, then what's this length here going to be? Well, it's going to be 5 times root 3. And if I... So I can either write my answer as 5 root 3, or I could write it, or it says as its exact value, so I would leave it as that. I was going to say you could leave it as a decimal, but now we need to leave it as that. And the same thing applies with 4C. Where it says exact value, it basically means just write down whatever, either as a fraction or a third, for its exact value. Do not write it as a decimal. Moving on to question five, it says that which of the following gives the length x in centimeters circle your answer? So for this, this is the hypotenuse, this is theta, and this is the opposite. So which trig ratio uses O and H? Well, it's going to be sine, so sine theta equals, and it's going to be O over H. So if I substitute those numbers in, I get sine 28 equals x over 32 so to work out what x is going to be it's going to be 32 times sine 28 which is our first option for question six so that could easily appear on a non-calculated paper question six says for this triangle which of the following is not true so what you want to try and do is now most of them are using this angle here apart from this second one so using this angle of a so if I wanted to work out tan a well tan a is opposite over adjacent so that's the hypotenuse that's the opposite that's the adjacent so that's going to be o a over b if I'm using sine a well that's opposite over hypotenuse so it's going to be a over c and cos a is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse so that's going to be b over c if I then flip that, so now I'm looking at B. So if I'm looking at sine B, well, sine is the opposite over hypotenuse. So then for this, if I'm using this green angle, this then becomes my opposite. And so it's going to be B over C. So let's have a look at which one of those does not appear. And the one that doesn't appear is this one. So that one is the one that is not true. Moving on to question seven, it says work out the length of P. So again, labeling my triangle, I've got theta. This is gonna be the hypotenuse. That's the opposite, that's the adjacent. There's no information on H, so I can scribble that out. So I'm gonna be using tan. So I've got tan theta equals O over A. So here I've got tan 40 equals P over 20. So it's gonna be 20 times tan 40 equals p and if i type that all into my calculator i get an answer of 16.8 and that's to one decimal place moving on to question eight it says work out the length of q so again very similar so label the side so that's theta that's the hypotenuse this is the opposite so i'm going to be using sine and let me just quickly write down the formula so substituting those numbers in i get sine 56 equals uh, q over 36 so q equals 36 multiplied by sine 56 and that gives me an answer of 29.8 and that's to one decimal place moving on to question nine it says work out the length of y so again labeling this up that's my theta this is my hypotenuse that's my opposite this is the adjacent no information on o so i can scribble that out so i'm looking at a and h which I'm going to be using cos. So I've got cos theta equals a over h. Substitute the numbers in. Cos 26 equals 12 over y. And so y equals 12 over cos 26. Enter that on the calculator, and I should end up with an answer of 13.4 to one decimal place. And then finally, moving on to our last question, it says work out the size of angle x so this is theta this is the opposite that's hypotenuse that's the adjacent scribble out h so i've got tan so it's going to be tan theta equals uh, 13 over 20 so here i've got tan x equals 13 over 20 so x equals the inverse tan of 13 over 20 and if I type that into my calculator, I end up with an answer of 33.0, and that's to one decimal place.